So you got that fancy new graphics card. Ah, oh, so nice. Oh, but wait, you rub your feet on the carpet, you touch it, and it's dead. So you've heard of static electricity and you know that if you touch someone and zap it, this, it that's bad, but how do you actually protect delicate fragile electronic components from the dangers of static electricity. Layer number one is usually some kind of an anti-static uh, padded foam, usually gray or bubble wrap that is usually pink. All right, so it's gonna come inside one of those in all likelihood. Next up is your anti-static bag. This usually has some kind of a conductive material on the outside of the bag that allows electrostatic to be discharged without actually reaching the delicate components inside. Now, a common mistake that I see, particularly with motherboards, is people take that fresh motherboard out of the box, take it out of the bag, put it on top of the bag in order to call that an anti-static safe workstation. Wrong. The outside of the bag is conductive and not actually good to be used for that. So now that it's all naked and stuff, how do you keep your new expensive graphics card from being destroyed? First of all, don't handle it by the sensitive components on the PCB. Handle it by the edges or by things like heat sinks, which are less likely to be zapped into oblivion. Number two is ground yourself. Dissipate the static electricity by touching something that is connected to a ground, such as a power supply that is plugged in but turned off. Another option, if you can't remember to do that every time you move or every couple minutes, is to use an anti-static wrist strap. You don't have to keep it on your wrist, you can instead keep it on your ankle, but this will constantly ground you out as long as the other end, which is usually an alligator clip, is connected to something that will dissipate the electricity. A great example would be something like a plugged in power supply. Some people plug them directly into the wall, but make sure you plug it into the correct part of the wall or you might have a bit of a problem. Double check the way that the wiring works in your region. Linus Tech Tips takes no responsibility for you know, bad things that happen to you. Thank you for checking out this video on anti-static. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and share with anyone who you think might benefit from the information.